Today we are checking out a new track from Supergroup Better Lovers. These guys just announced their debut full-length record. It's called Highly Irresponsible and it's out October 25th. Super stoked about this project. These guys are so cool. Such an energetic and fierce sound. This band, as you guys all know, is made up of the former singer of the Dillinger Escape Plan and most of the former members of Every Time I Die. Just such a cool pairing of really talented guys. I feel like since these guys kind of formed from the ashes of Every Time I Die, uh, they've been on an absolute winning streak. Just bangers after bangers after bangers. Putting out a lot of music over the past year or so. And this is going to be a great, great record, I'm sure. I'm really stoked to check out this new track, a uh, white horse covered in blood. So let's just jump right into it. But before we do, I'd love to ask you to join the community and subscribe. We love discovering and sharing great new music here, and we'd love to have you. Oh yeah, these music videos have been fantastic as well, last one was so much fun, this one looks great too. Look at the riffs. Okay, this is really interesting. It's just such a great front man. a long break. Gonna be when you melt down. Oh, the groove. Building it back up. Heck yeah. Are those better lovers with their new track, A White Horse Covered in Blood? Let's break it down. Well, just as I thought that was fantastic, I really, really liked this kind of more melodic side from them. I feel like this, the aggression on these past two singles have been, you know, pulled down from 11 to kind of maybe like an eight or so, but I still think that it's so much fun. It's so energetic. I really, really loved the energy of this track. It almost reminded me, um, I mean, of course, every time I die, you know, big big influence here but just a tad bit 
of like a Foo Fighters vibe in there. I don't know, something about um, like some of the Foo Fighters like heavier songs. This kind of reminds me of some of those sounds, just kind of the repeated lyrics and the building up and the kind of war drums and all that stuff. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm going crazy, but I, I hear a little bit of Foo Fighters influence in this and I really, really enjoy it. But man, Greg is just such a great friend, man. He's so charismatic. He really knows how to control the camera and he gives such a great performance with his vocals. And those guitars are so good as well. Lots of great little intricate licks in there. It's not just like chugging, chugging all the time and low riffs. There's really intricate little lead lines sewn throughout this entire song that make it very uh, nuanced and interesting. I really enjoyed that. And man, just the drums and the bass just carry that energy so well. It's just a massive, massive track. And I really enjoyed it. Music video, a lot of fun, colorful, simple stuff, you know, bands playing, there's a frogman killing everyone. I don't know. It's cool. I love it. I'm definitely looking forward to this record coming out in October. I'll leave a link in the description to go pre-order that if that's something that you guys are into. I'm probably going to do that as well because this record is going to be fantastic. Let me know what you guys thought of this track in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. Thanks so much to Sharp Tone for sending this out to me early so I can give this video to you guys on release day. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you in the next one.